Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Well, it's kind of early in the morning, like, it was like 6.30 in the morning. Um, but before I made this video, I made a quick video with my phone of uh, kind of how my setup is in the bathroom here when I'm doing my videos. And I got a couple emails that people were kind of like, oh, so how do you do your videos? And, you know, how's your shave gear set up? And stuff like that. So I shot a little video and I'm going to insert it. Uh, right after I show you what I'm using in today's shave and I'll probably build my lather up while uh, you guys watch a little I think it's like five minutes I don't even know if it's that much I'm a little stuffed up today because it's been raining for the last two days here like crazy that's why it's a little you know the sun's not coming in today but and yeah it's around 6 30 ish in the morning so it is kind of kind of early I do have that little thing from the other day but Hopefully I won't destroy it too bad. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a pimple or anything. It's just like some dry skin or maybe an ingrown hair. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so let's go in today's shave, into, into today's shave. I uh, was really in the mood for something refreshing today. So we're going to use some frozen mojitos from Ariana and Evans. Some a and &E, and good buddy George sent me this a while back and boy I love the scent mmm in fact this scent is so spot on with mojito because after I would come back from fishing when I used to you know fish professionally I uh, a good hot day on the lake it's just you know a nice good cold frozen mojito is great anyway kind of missed that because I don't drink anymore after the heart surgery so mmm so good Anyway, so that's what I'm using for soap, frozen mojitos. Thank you, George. And I just got some in the old timeless ball. I've been kind of sitting there. I just kind of bloomed this before I, uh, you know, I got a little water in there. And I'm going to use my rich man brush, my predator brush with the 30 mil tuxedo knot in it. That's from Rich Man Shaving. And of course, how can we not? forget the old Rockwell success on plate number four I just believe that's plate four right there plate four and I got a pole silver in there on its first shave today actually I gotta get a new tuck because this one is actually empty so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll whip up this lather while you uh while you check out my little setup here and uh I think the video quality is probably going to be better on my phone because my phone is new. Uh, I just got a new phone. So uh, we'll see how that works out. So uh, enjoy uh, my little goofy setup here. So enjoy. Okay, folks. Here's just a quick little video of uh, my setup when I'm doing my videos. So on my mirror, don't make fun of the wallpaper or the goofy thing on the mirror there. That's my wife's thing. But there's my GoPro sitting on the mirror with the big GoPro suction cup and I use my iPod as a monitor and that's where I keep some of my extra brushes right there kind of on the side there ready to I dry them off and then on the right side I have my little quick rack here where I keep my uh, my goodies Always have the Rockwell up top with the Schmoog. That was actually my first stand right there. And then I have some razors there. I think you can see it there. I have some razors ready to rock and roll right there. Just all sitting there drying up. And I always wipe them down so my razors are always in good shape. And I have usually two soaps just sitting up here that I always have on deck. Uh, one is uh, Sterling Almond Cream, and the other one is Phoenix's Club Guy. And I always have some Witch Hazel. Got an Allen block there and an Allen stick. And then below it, I keep my uh, cube and my little soap scraper. And then I have a scuttle. And then below the scuttle, I just keep my timeless bowl just chilling there. And if we just cruise back. I guess is I use my iPad as my monitor for my GoPro. So if you see if I 
go this way. Let's see if I wave up my GoPro. And this is usually what I have on deck when I'm shaving with. And this is my wife's cabinet, this one right here. And so is this one. But then we'll come over to my area. And I'll try to do this one handed. This is where I keep all my blades and like boxes and other razors. It's kind of a mess right now, but and I have like an extra Allen stick in there, but I keep my blades right now. It's all uh, it's kind of thrown around because I haven't really separated anything today. And I have a whole box full of blades. I have some old vintage razors. I have my, uh, what's sitting in this case is the, uh, is the uh, Rex Ambassador. There's actually plate six and plate five from my uh, Rockwell. And he's got some blades thrown around. Got a whole box full of blades here. That just, you know, there's just lots of blades in there too. Just overflow blades. And that's basically what I just keep in the top drawer. And in the second drawer, which is real heavy, I have like kind of lots of soaps. They're kind of three deep in here. They're just kind of all over the place. Kind of just flopping all over the place here, but there's tons of soaps in there. Like I said, they go three, four deep. It's all kind of goodies. Anyway, that's where I keep some of those soaps. Especially the ones I use a lot. The bottom drawer is where I keep all my uh, most of the bombs and uh, no aftershaves splashes that I use and I got some samples down there too and this end cabinet here is my cabinet also I keep some extra brushes there some overflow brushes there and this little bottom cubby and actually inside I have on the top shelf I have like some some creams, tobacco got in there, and behind there's a palm oil. I know I get the stick. I got old spice. I have my Panama Sage rub, and I'm usually too deep on these. I usually have backup. And then behind my special mixture, I have a full thing of Panade. Always have that on deck. And we go down more, and we just have more soaps. And this is uh, this goes back two tiers worth of soaps there's a ton of soaps in here i got you know my soap commanders are in here uh, i got some of some garis just a whole bunch bunch of goodies just all sitting there so I'll back up just a little bit so that's kind of my setup there for that's so why i just keep in the bathroom i have more stuff in tins or uh in tubs under my uh bed and whatnot so this is how I do my videos. Use my GoPro. It's on that mount. That's why I look at the monitor. You'll see me sometimes looking that way. And when I hang up my brushes, it's because they're sitting right there. Those are the brushes I use the most. And like I said, across there, I got my Smoky 30, which kind of sits by itself. And my Rockwell is always chilling out there. And you may hear that clock kind of in the background sometimes clicking away. There you go, folks. So, enjoy. Go back to my shaving video. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that little short little clip there of like how my stuff is set up in this goofy bathroom. Don't make fun of the wallpaper or the goofy rose thing on the thing. It's my wife's thing. <laughs> and the, these curtains that are the little doily things here, these are like a, over a hundred years old. So, my wife puts it in the bathroom because it's it was her like great grandmother. So. We'll just let that all be. Just glad I got some place to shave. Nice and quiet right now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that little. Just how I kind of got my stuff set up. I got so many more soaps and whatnot. And big rubber made toads kind of in my bedroom closet. But I'm not going to go in there and mess with that because my wife's probably still sleeping. So uh, we'll get the shave going on. Hair's all dry and stuff already because it's been a while. Because I was setting all this up but. I'll just do a quick little wet the face. Hopefully I don't 
Nick Dow guy over there. And while you guys were watching that little informative video, I bet you the video quality is probably better on my phone. Because it is the new. It's not the iPhone 10, but it's the 8. I know it has the new upgraded camera on it. But I made some nice lather while, uh, you know, you were watching that video. The magic of editing. <laughs> so we're just going to go with this on the face. Oh my god, this smells so freaking good. And you can see how great that a &E lather is. So grateful that George sent me this. A few months back. Kind of almost makes you want to run out and uh, grab a mojito, that's for sure. Matter of fact, it seems that I've been shaving lately with uh, a lot of soaps that have that lime and uh, citrusy kind of scent here for summer. Because I'm not really a... Uh, I like all those scents. But I'll, for me, I, I don't go by like the seasons when I pick my stuff. But I do like, you know, summertime to kind of have that summery scent. But... I'll shave it like a winter, you know, like a pumpkin spice or something in the summertime. I don't care. It's whatever I'm in the mood for. There's no law that says, hey, it's summertime. You got to use this. So, All right. Anyway, Rockwell success plate number four. As you can see, because I did color mine in. So plate four. Got a pulse silver in there. That's good stuff. Might as well shave my eyeball. <laughs> Great slickness on the A&E soap base. Boy, it's raining hard today. My skylight's going bing, bang, boom, boom. Oh, somebody's up. Probably my granddaughter. She gets up early. That is so awesome. Wow. There's some whiskers are floating in the sink. Wow, that's some good, uh, that's some good residual slickness there, boy. I just saw some lightning. Good thing all this is wireless. <laughs> so if I lose power, you just the lights will just go out here, but I'll still be recording. Ooh, thunder. I bet you all the cats are going crazy now. My cats do not like thunder or anything like that. You 
You know, somebody asked me the other day if I shave daily. Uh, when I was working, I used to shave daily. But now that I'm home with the, you know, heart surgery stuff I had, and I usually shave every two days. It depends on the growth of my, when my beard grows back, because I don't like stubble at all. Never did. That's why when it comes to like no shave November, I shave. I just don't like the feeling of stubble. I tried to grow a mustache like when I was in my 20s. and You know, the goatee and whatnot. I just didn't like it. Just didn't like the feeling. Tell you what, that, that thunder's pretty loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's loud on my end. Hopefully I won't lose power. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be shaving. In the dark. I don't think my GoPro will cover that low of a light situation. Alright, that was an awesome first pass. So, since I got some, some plenty there. Thunder. Slap it around. Got it up the nose a little. That's okay. Smells good though. That scent is really good scent. lips do a little against the grain Hey, is there any uh, good Mythical Morning fans here that watch uh, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning? They actually got a couple more uh, YouTube channels now, but I've been watching those guys for a couple of years, and uh, I was actually watching them uh, this morning, what I missed from yesterday. Good show. Kind of goofy. Where the rain is really coming down.
almost sounds like hail on my roof. Alright, so that was an awesome, awesome shave right there. I'm sure I'll be uh nice and slick. Wow, that residual slickness is killer. gonna leave it at that wow it is really coming down it's crazy I'm sure you guys can hear it because if it's loud on my end my the microphone this GoPro is pretty sensitive so should be picking up all that rain just rinse off with some cold water the coldest it'll be for now <laughs> oh no red spots it's a little red but it's not bothering me weird That was an awesomely smooth shave from Amy, Ariane, and Evans. Just noticed I have a hole in my shirt too, but that's okay. But that's okay. Let me just go over here and. Clean up the mess I made over here too. Which is kind of weird. Kind of made a big mess on this side. Sorry, folks. Just made a mess there. It's okay with that. All right, just wipe that up there. All right, so I'll just recap this shave real quick. <laughs> Hairs in the mouth. All right, so we've shaved with the uh, frozen mojitos today from Ariane and Evans, A&E. It is spot on as far as uh, mojito sensor sense. Got the Rockwell 6S. Blade that's in here is the whole silver, which you can probably see if I hold it up right. So I'm not even sure if this is the right direction. Let me, let me throw on the old specs there real quick. Just so I put it in the right way. Yeah, I was actually upside down, I think. So that's the Super Iridium. I'll pull it out of the top cap so you can see both sides. So that's one side. Oh. And I'll cut my net the other side. Super Iridium blade. Rockwell 6S on plate number four. It's, good. it's just my go-to plate. Sometimes I shave with five or sometimes even shave with six, but plate four for me is the smoothest on me face. All right, and brush was the Rich Man. It's my Predator brush with the 30 mil tuxedo knot that Mr. Josh Morris sent me there and it definitely holds a gazillion gazillion tons of ladder there and you can see that ladder is just peaky and phenomenal 
And this is good for the hands. <laughs> Gives you that nice mojito smell. Almost makes you want to run out and get a mojito. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. What's nice about this big 30 millimeter tuxedo mount is it is synthetic, of course, and cleanup on it is just so easy. Basically, you just rinse or clean, take it out, give it a little, I give it a little quick slaps on the towel. And I hang it to dry. Boy, it's really raining. Should have hung my head out the window and shaved. I got a big old 30 millimeter. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's the Predator brush. Rich man shaving. Big, nice handle. I love the handle on this. That's why with that 30 millimeter knot now, it is like perfect. It's the perfect size. In fact, it's a little tight there on where I, you know, where I keep my brushes, where you saw my, if you watched my little video there of how I kind of keep my stuff. And I still got some soap in the bowl, which I'll rinse out. Oh, that water was hot. Yikes. That woke me up. That was a wake-up call right there. Oof. Just rinsing out the old time of fall. And I got every ounce of that soap that was in there with that nice big 30 mil. There's nothing stuck to the bottom. Which is awesome. And the bowl is such an easy maintenance bowl too. It's just, just rinse it out. Wipe it down. Very easy maintenance there. Timeless bowl. They got their cool timeless logo. They actually have a candle holder there with a candle. I always flop it on top of. The wife hasn't complained about it yet, so I think I'm getting to clear. I think I kind of might have. Uh, it's bleeding a little bit, that thing I had there, but I'm not worried about that too much. Alrighty. So. To finish off this shave, some awesome lemon lime. I've been using my lime sec a lot, just because everything I've been shaving with lately has had that has that lemon or lime or citrus or citrusy. Excuse me, almost like I'm drunk from the uh, mojito. <laughs> this is such an awesome scent. Gives you that nice burn not crazy burn but you know pretty good i think i still got soap in my nose don't have any in my ears so that's the lime sec goes great with that frozen mojitos lime sec by panad all righty so hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit long because uh i had that video of my kind of setup here and how i do my videos from youtube and whatnot so if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down if you're not a subscriber to my youtube page channel please subscribe it's easier now too because there's a little icon in the i think it's the right hand corner or everything's backwards the right hand corner you just click subscribe and you're there so until next shave i'm sorry about the rain and glenn signing off